Hi guys, welcome to another Touch of Film. Uh, this week, this is a special, uh, special unboxing of Taisho, the Taisho trilogy, um, directed by Seijin Suzuki. Uh, just a bit of background. Um, I'm a big fan of Seijin Suzuki. If you watch my channel, um, or any release of his, I'll always show it. Always talk about his films. Um, he was a director that really big in the 1970s he was with Nikatsu who were like a, a sort of like a like Warner Brothers in a way uh, they used to produce films um, mainly gangster movies that's what he really did but his films were slightly different they were a bit more like art house a bit wacky um, really like inspired by pop art um, and his storylines were a bit crazy like you'd have one gangster who's like has a fetish for smelling like uh, boiling rice so these were like weird stories uh, Nikatsu sort of like fell out with him his films didn't they assume, they felt that their, his films didn't sell uh, they didn't um, make a lot of money so from that they uh, sacked him uh, Suzuki then went on to sue Nikatsu um, he won, but this led him to being blacklisted. Um, ten years on, he was trying to make this uh, some uh, this film. Uh, he couldn't get any publishing for it, or any distribution, or any funding for it. Um, but it became an independent film, which led to these this trilogy. Um, it, it's ten years after he was left Nikatsu, so we're looking at nineteen. 1980 was the first one. That was um, uh, Ziegenweisen. Ziegenweisen. Um, that was released in 1980. Um, didn't really get a cinema release. So what happened was um, the producer of the film uh, had an inflatable cinema put in like shopping, like in a shopping mall for people to see in like Tokyo, and it would tour around Japan. Um, so it was very limited viewing, um, but it became the biggest film of 1980. It got um, so many like awards in Japan, and it was a Japanese critics' number one film of that year. Um, so yeah, that was uh, Zegan Weizen. That was a f um, let me go into the films a bit more. Like uh, Zegan Weizen was um, uh, it's the, they're like three films sort of like um, elements of like ghost stories um, just set during the uh, Taisho period which was like around 1912 to 1926 in Japan so it was a very short period a time of like great decadence um, you had Emperor Taisho at the time um, yeah so the first film uh, Zagan 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 is a sort of story uh, it starts off with our ca our main character which is um, Yoshio Harada he's actually in all three films he's the only actor in all three films um, he's just uh, being the film starts with him being chased by um, the police and some villagers um, they've accused him of be being doing a murder um, on this young lady uh, seducing her and then murdering her um, he's then met by his friend Toshia Fujita uh, the actor play, plays this character um, he's actually the director of both Lady Snowblood movies which is pretty cool um, so he says to him she so says to the police listen he's um, he works with me he's not a murderer so like that he's just let off uh, they go to a a bar where they're met by this geisha who they both sort of like become infatuated with her she's really beautiful she um, danced with her then she's just come back from her brother's funeral which is like sort of like a biz you know something that would never really happen um, and from there we we see their both these characters relationships with their own wives and each other's wives um, occur and expand um, and it leads to sort of like 
elements of the ghost story with dead characters uh, coming back um, it is probably the only film with a only film out of the trilogy that has sort of a narrative um, the rest are really like more art housey even though it, the first one is still an art house movie uh, it is the, the only one real like a story based to it um, yeah and I don't want to go into it too much into it because I could end up spoiling the movie but yeah it's a very good movie probably my favourite out of the trilogy um, then you have Zagiro Zar which is based on the work of uh, Kyocho Inami um, Izumi sorry Izumi um, he his books were adapted a lot by uh, Kenji Mizuguchi into films um, but um, Zagirazar is not really based on his book Zagirazar it's more based on the other work but it just took the name from uh, that now we now we run to a different story like they're both independent stories uh, in this one you have um, a man who meets this woman whilst go um, on the way to the hospital and this woman is uh, there with flowers who she wants to give to us to someone but she's got a message that was said if you give these flowers to this person they're gonna die um, yeah a real wacky story it doesn't make much sense uh, but the man uh, played by uh, Yusuke Matsuda he starts to believe that she is the wife of a um, sort of like a wealthy landowner who sorry fire, fire the gate there. but yeah he believes that she's the wife she's the wife of this wealthy landowner but rumor has it she has died um, so it's more of a, like a tale of finding out his wife who his wife is he's got two wives apparently um, one is a German lady who dresses up as a um, Japanese lady so it's quite a crazy wacky story great visuals though um, yeah and then the third one is Yumeji uh, Yumeji was the only one prior to getting this box set that I had seen um, the other two I really hadn't seen before uh, Yumeji is based on a, uh, a he was a painter named uh, Yumeji Takahisa but it's not really a biopic about him it's sort of um, a, a, like a dream like uh, story um, he's just uh, it's about his relationships with women how he's always trying to bed these women there's like four women throughout the film and he's just trying to have intercourse with them bar by saying he's going to paint them um, along the way um, Yoshiro Harada's character who is the actor that's in all three films he he's there to prevent him from doing so uh, one of them is his wife uh, he's there saying that he's going to shoot him they're going to duel and also um, another character that's in this is like this uh, guy who's wanted by the police he's um, a serial killer he's living in the mountains and he's really there to prevent him as well so it's like he's trying to bed these women but at the same time these two guys are there preventing him uh, from doing so in like, in a crazy fashion really so yeah very crazy story um, again not much narrative there and it's really just an art house movie with a lot of visuals um, if I could compare it to anything um, I would probably compare it to like something by David Lynch but if you're watching the new um, Twin Peaks movies uh, TV show it is just very similar to that very um, artistic visually it's visually beautiful but there's it takes a lot to understand what's going on um, and Zygmarzen I'll probably uh, compare it to something like uh, The Handmaiden the new Park Chan-wook movie 
uh, very similar to that in storyline so yeah guys let's crack this open and I'll show you what's inside so here we are guys um, take the Taisho trilogy Taisho trilogy um, this comes with a really nice book some artwork there each with a little introduction to each of the movies just talking about cast and crew I'll put an essay in there some nice imagery some paintings by Yumeji Thick. first movie I love this artwork it is absolutely beautiful when they re show the artwork I was just amazed so you have the blu-ray and the DVD and underneath that you have the original artwork from when the film was originally released in 1980. Zagirazar, this is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It's got this um, sort of like Great Gatsby feel to it as well. It's a Blu ray. On the DVD. Here's the original artwork. You can see that. And here's Yumeji. That is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. That's uh, related to a scene in the movie. Also, there's some, this was like 10 years after uh, Kagiraza as well. So it was like this was released in 1991, Kagiraza was in 81, and uh, Zagamizen was in uh, 1980. So a big gap between the second and third movie. Fantastic. Um, the special features, in, there's loads of special features in this. Uh, well, uh, like loads of like cool things. Like um, you have Tony Raines um, giving an introduction to every film, as well as interviews with uh, Seijin Suzuki, which is awesome. I mean, he's he's the don. There it is, guys. The Show Trilogy. Um, still available from Amazon and um, Arrow. And I really recommend it, guys. Cool, guys. Uh, please uh, subscribe, comment below. Uh, click like or click dislike if you don't like it. Um, cool. And I'll see you next week, guys. Take it easy.